my jacket, darling. Happy birthday. Don't be a spaz and drink too much, okay? Mm -hmm. You're like, can in this month? My man. Come by Tuesday, I got something for you. Joe! Joey, oh, we, oh! You were Clyde. Get a grip. Happy birthday, Joey. This <laughs> Maybe more like this <laughs> Hey, old man. Old man? 34 is an old man now? This baby better hurry up before I have to change two diapers. Haha, <laughs> very Besides, that'll be Martha's job one day. <laughs> Do you want to tell me what's going on? No, no, it's uh... Are you enjoying the party or...? Yeah, yeah, the party's great. It's uh, something not much. Yeah, you just plug it in your wall right there and wham! 120 volts sucking right through your wall like a goddamn tornado. Central back, Mitch. You really got to check it okay, out. Okay, Glenn, I got to check out something, office, all right? Good talk. I got a good price, too. You want, you want my guy? I'll send you my guy. Use cod next time. I want it. Yo, Joe, come here. Yeah, Big Bob, one minute. Hey, you guys take requests? Listen, Mitch. Why are you listening to Mary? That. I knew it. You got no spine with that girl. Mitch! First the band at those stupid bars. Mitch! Who the fuck is that? Oh, I think he's gonna fix the cable. He's gonna fix the cable. Oh. oh! What the hell, man? Ah, oh, what are you, frickin' Terminator? Thing. Come and take it from me, you cable company terminator. No one these people so expensive. Mitch, give it to him! He tried to get my pants, Joe. Yeah, you give it to him.
Mr. Small, nice to finally see you. I take you away waiting long? Yeah, Mr. Peters. Yeah. Nice to see you. Not as long as me. Two years, Mr. Small. Two years, maybe to you. More like 23 to me. I knew your father, Mick. Joe was a respectable man. A decent man. You know what respectable men do, Mick? Your father always did. You show up on time. That's right, show up on time. Your father leaves you a message from beyond the grave to open on a specific time and date, and you what? You're fucking two years late? You and Rodney both. You, you boys with the dumb leading the dumb, doing fuck all in that basement. Yeah, I haven't seen Rodney in years. I was constantly. Listen. Good, Rodney's still sucking off my goddamn teeth. At least your balls dropped and you hopped the hell out of here. Now let's get to this, shall we? I got a Darnelli sandwich waiting for me in the other freaking room. I, Joe Small, signed here within, am of sound mind and body and do declare that in the event of my untimely disappearance and death, my son, Mick Small, will assume ownership of Shenanigans Nightclub on November 11th, 2012, at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. For fuck's sake, that's in 15 fucking minutes. That's it? That's it, Just I'm afraid so. The nightclub. Yeah. None of the money. Where's the money? I know you've had, you've been managing his accounts all these years. Yeah, where, well, where did uh, it all go? Don't worry about that. What the hell am I going to do with that stupid nightclub you guys all used to talk about? Didn't they disconnect it from the street? Yeah, it was infested by raccoons. I mean, you should have seen the size of these things. Mick, uh, I don't know what to tell you. I advise your father against it. That place was a real piece of shit. Even though I met my sweet, sweet... Patricia there. But I guess he really wanted you to have it. Dying wishes. What can I say? Right. Sell the place. Who gives a shit? Bring him to the Nellies. I'll do it in here. I take Rodney in and out of my wills, hoping the Lord takes me one of the damn interns. Hey, take off those onions, yo, flares up my gastritis. The like onions, bit? Yeah, once you box up those onions, we're gonna send them home with Mick. Happy birthday, you fucker. Yeah. Fucking tracky ducky, it's an absolute scorch out there, mate. Looks like your car's off. Yeah, thanks, darling. Mate, you're full of the goo. Right sharp duck after them squeers. Mate, where are your budgie smugglers? You get them both. I should notice you. No, let's move. I grabbed some bar mix on my way down here. Think they did it? No, we're running out of time. Did you find anything? Yeah, I got you, note. I know she named you a couple of times on the way down. Maybe a couple more handfuls won't hurt neither. That time travel thing. Crikey, certainly new. Did you find anything? Oh, yeah, man, retard this bloke. That's not gonna fucking work. What do you mean, man? Toss and shoot, Joe. Pull that Terminator to Kingdom Come. You said Terminator, right? What, you got a T-1000? We don't have a gun. How many times do I have to say that? Oh, you know someone here's packing. I know that psycho Glenn. He's hanging some heat. Yeah, Big Dick Glenn. Quick, hold on to it. Nice jumper! Where'd you get that? You in nature 95. Went there with Joe. What Joe? Oi, fucker!
sound mind and body my ass. Maybe before he left his wife and child. Ridiculous. It all started after Mitch disappeared, all his strange behavior. That's what this is from. Has to be. He never used to act like that. Mick? Mick? Sorry, Mom. I'm out of it. What'd you say? You know, I don't even get anything. I have an account. I know, Mom. I know. Like an allowance, really. And it's certainly not much. No, we need a lawyer, Ma. Honey, we have a lawyer. Not that jackass Mr. Peters, Ma. We need a, a real lawyer, someone that works for us, not Dad. Patty is my best friend and practically your aunt, Mick. And Rodney. Ma. Rodney's practically your brother. That poor sweet boy. You know, he drives me to the store now. Is that right? Is that how he gets his chicken nuggets these days? Honey, come on. Rodney's grown up so much since you two's little falling out. But no, I sold the car. You well, what? Selling. You sold the car? Selling. Rodney's been paying it off when he can, of course. I need to get to the bar. I need to figure this whole thing out. How am I supposed to get around? Well, why didn't you ask Rodney? He's out there right now. I'm sure he'll give you a ride. Yeah, I know he is. I think the whole neighborhood knows. like that. Okay. Listen, man. Last time we talked, I'm sorry. I just can't be doing that shit anymore. I mean, look at this. It's, it's the middle of November. You're out here in a fucking kiddie pool. All that other shit I said, I'm, I'm sorry. I just, uh, you know I didn't mean it. I've just been going through a hard time. It's been weird a couple of years. I, I don't know. Yep. Beseech me? Come on. Love Rod. No, man, come on. You know the drill. Okay. Come on. Give Big Rod a squeeze. Oh, rock hard, Rod. And gentle Nick Fuse to make love Rod. Oh, nuclear strength. Okay. What are you doing here? I was just with uh, your dad, actually. Dino Nooks? What? Dude, full sheet today, man. Dino Nooks. Uh, no, nah, man. I'm, I'm good. Uh, yeah, yeah, so I was with your dad, and, uh... Oh, yeah, he told me about that. The letter from beyond. <laughs> yeah, he, he told you about that? What, dude? We're like family, and plus I thought that was, like, a couple years ago. <sighs> yeah, well, actually, we just opened it today. It took me a while to get back up here, you know, from the city. And you sure? Sure about what? Dino nugs, dude. Come on, man. Get in on this. Full sheet today, man. Rawr. I've been making this sauce. You think it's mostly ketchup? Mayo? Nah. Trick is L to you. Listen, man. I, I need my mom's car. What, dude? I thought we could hang out for a bit. It's been a while. All right, uh, the keys are right over, um, there. Uh, I'll come with you. 
Nah, man. You stay here. Eat your chicken nuggets. I don't know, dude. Come on, dude. We gotta chill for a bit. I've been dying to check out this nightclub. Hey, how do you know about the nightclub? Would he read you the letter, too? Nah, man. Client privilege. But yeah. I read it. What, dude? I'm not your client. It's not how that works, Rod. It was just some steam. I, I opened it with a teapot. What? My dad had it there on his desk. And I just used a little steam and I read it. No big deal, dude. <coughs> Fuck, I think I saw it right there, top, dude. It's an old spy trick, dude. You use a little steam and help the envelope, and you can reseal it. No harm done, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. You and the dino stay here, Dr. Malcolm. Well, not quite. What do you mean, not quite? I wasn't sure how long to see it for, and, well, dude, it's really close to the original. God damn it, dude. The steam fucked it up, but it's all right, man. I typed up a new one. You can't even tell. So you're telling me that the personal note... Yeah? ...that my dead father left me... Uh-huh. ...from beyond the grave to me... Yeah. Not you, me. The letter was to me. Your name was on it. Yeah. Is really from you. No, nah, man. No. Nah. It's still your dad, man. It's still him. I'm just his typist. De lu de la. It's like the exact same, dude. The exact same. I just added the... I love you parts. So yeah, my parents always said this place was a huge shithole. They met here. Did you know that? Hey, slow down. It's like not even connected to the street anymore, dude. Like, what? Totally. Yeah, something about obese raccoons or something. Don't you find it a little strange you'd have this specific date to give me the bar? It's probably your birthday or something, dude. No, man. It's not my birthday. We've known each other our whole lives. You know my fucking birthday? I know your birthday. <laughs> Everybody knows my birthday. 420. 420. That's right. Yeah, no, it's this random ass date. November 11th, 2012. 9-11, dude? Damn. That's not good. No, you idiot. It's today. November 11th is today. Oh. I mean, the weird thing is, I was supposed to open the will two years ago. I mean, why make me wait two years to actually own the place? I think... I don't know. What, dude? What? Bro. It's just that I never really thought he was gone. You know that better than anyone. And, you know, who knows? Maybe he could be out there. Maybe it's some Jumanji shit. Probably, dude. Or what about his partner? He used to play guitar in his band. And my mom talks about him all the time. Rich? No. Mitch. Man, this place really is a shithole. My mom was right.
Yeah. You, you got a key for this one? I bet the good shit's in here. Well, let's find out. Dice. Yeah, that's locked. Well, I do own the place now. I'm sorry, it's the sauce I've been making. Uh, it's mostly fucking mayonnaise. And... I'm calling an ambulance right now, sir. Don't worry. Rodney, get him a fucking towel. I don't have a fucking towel. Give me your fucking uh, rope. No! No cops! <laughs> sir, he hit you with an axe. I'm calling no, an ambulance. No! No cops! Look, look. I'm okay! Oh, hang it up, Whoa. Nick. Oh, good. Let's talk. <coughs> oh. What the fuck is going on here? How do you know my name? My dad's a lawyer, and, uh, like, he owns the place. <sighs> no! What? No time, damn it! <sighs> Dumb phone, dude. It's not a fucking phone, you morons! <sighs> what fucking timeline is this? Why are you guys even here? What are you doing here? Who the hell are you? I'm cleaning up your mess. From two years ago? Hey. <laughs> I was supposed to be like your time, space, space time guardian guide guy, but fuck, you guys killed me then too! Shit. Yeah. Shit. Fuck, I shouldn't be doing this, but there's no time. Here. There's only a few left. <laughs> Don't fuck it up. <coughs> and you? Yes? <sighs> Ah! He put something in my ear, dude! Here. These will make you travel together. Travel where? Just goes behind your ear. <laughs> Fuck you. Yo, strange man. Who the hell are you? What is this stuff? It's your father, Mick. Whoa. <clears throat> He's in the phone? He's stuck. Lost, we think. <clears throat> Fragmented in a hydronic masonic slip. It's shredding the fabric of space and time. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> My father's alive? <clears throat> Some things echo through space-time, Mick. Resonate with the very fabric of existence. <clears throat> Your father's an echo from a sound never made. <clears throat> He's getting closer to resonant frequency. We don't know what will happen, but it, it probably won't be good. <clears throat> Find him. Bring him back. Balance it. And for fuck's sake, don't leave the property. Don't leave the property? What are we doing here? What, what the fuck are we doing here? How? How do we find it? When? Still don't get it. We gotta do this. Uh, what, dude? Look at this thing. Date, time, location. That one's locked. But then there are these TLC things. Not sure what they are. Oh, dude. I love TLC. And then there's these toggles. 
This must be for our earpieces. Look, this one's you, this one's me. Dude. This is a time machine. A fucking time machine? Oh, God! <laughs> Dude! You're fucking hot! I have tits too! You! Yeah! Ooh! This is. This is more than a time machine. Having titties is sweet, dude. So I guess these like TLC things, they, they must be different timelines or realities or something. Dude, wait, was I hot? Dude, there's only a certain number of these TLC things. And the location is locked. He was looking for him, man. There's only a few left, you see? We could actually do this. We could find him, we could bring him back. My mom could see him. It could be a family again. Did you get it, dude? This is it. Uh, I'm good, dude. What? Listen, man, I'm hungry. I've thrown up like three times and look, dude. this guy has an ax in his fucking shoulder. You did that. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, but we probably killed that guy too and- Sounds like you did that one too. And just, dude, I'm out of here, man. Oh, I left my Donald's house on the counter. Fuck, my mom's gonna kill me. Rodney. Wait, we can rescue my father, man. That guy said we were both here. It's destiny. Love Rod gotta do it together. I need my friend, my best friend. Yeah, well, you do need me worth a sack of shit. And it would be pretty sweet to have titties again, at least for like another three minutes. And Look, I, I even bookmarked that one for you. Right there, got your titties saved. All right, all right. Dude, I do want you to see your dad again. Thank you. Wait, you gonna try my dino sauce? Bet your ass I'm gonna try your dino sauce, dude. You ready? For what? What the fuck? You right, dude? Dude, I'm cool. Uh, I'm a little cold. Jesus. No tits. Bugs probably be nice. Dude, where's the bar? Why are we in a river? Let's go up this way. Dude, I think I see some shit. Dumbasses you doing your dirty band of stunt with us? Nothing to see you do, man. 45 minutes late and your bandmate just got here 10 minutes ago? <laughs> Sounds like we early day class. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here's the plan. We blend in, don't make a scene. Find my dad, get the hell out of here. Stay fit, keep sharp, make good decisions. Dude, time travel. Shit. You got all that, Rod? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I don't understand. Like, why are we here? Last time, we were in the bar in the same spot, and now we're not. Dude, I, I don't, don't like it. I don't know how this shit works either, okay? Why do they have southern accents all of a sudden? <laughs> Dude, that's pretty obvious, but why are we here? How does them having southern accents make more sense than this? Old-timey, dude. Everyone had a fucking accent. I mean, hey, governor. Do your fucking history, man. Come on. You're an idiot. All right, dude. Chill. In and out. 
Let's, we got this. Fuck me. Come on. One drink, dude. Uh, I don't know, man. You still popping your dad's blue pills these days? <laughs> He's kidding. Um, I was like this extra in this play, and I was trying to play a tree, and I try to have extra limbs sometimes, and you know, it's like method acting. We're all set on drinks, is what I was trying to say. Um, we're looking for Joe Smalls. You guys know him? You're looking for Joe, honey? Everyone around here knows Joe. How about you guys wait here for one pretty minute and I'll go get him. Pat! Who's gonna be those tax men that Joe's been telling us about? That one fella madder than a wet hen! Shoot! What we gonna do? Right, right, okay. How about you go take them out to the alley in five minutes and I'll go get the guys, okay? Right, okay. you boys some drinks. Fuck you. Really, really, we're okay. We just, we just gotta talk to Joe. That's all. Bet you do, bet you do. Ooh, Joe and them boys ripping it up tonight, Patty. We ain't no friends right here. Is that, is that the owner of the bar on stage? Is that oh, Joe the Small and Big Top? Yeah. The owner is fine as time. Well, okay then. Don't forget a pile of bricks. That's Joe's tax name. He's selling weasel too. Take him in the back alley, would you? Who's finally awake, fucking sleepyheads? Probably been dreaming about taking our damn monies. Probably been wet dream dreaming about it. You, Clad, really? Now I'd be fixing to say you right, Dolly. But let's hear what our new friends have to say for a second. The fuck you doing here? Joseph's dad. It's his fucking dad. We we killed our space godmother, and now we're stuck in time right, travel. Hold your lip. Whoa, he's right, he's right. Joe's my dad, he's my fucking dad. Uh, sorry, partner. 
Joe ain't got no kids. me if you want to live. Terminator? No? Bye. Right, right, right. Mitch? <laughs> Haven't heard that in a long time. Quick, follow me, boys. Let's go. Safe now, boys. Now, Nick, what the hell are you doing here? Where's your father? And you quit gawking at my stash. These pickles? Not these pickles. Get a load of this guy. I've been making this brine recently. You think uh, the secret is dill and mustard seed, but no, you Seems gotta help Mitch, Mitch, I'm here for my dad. We're looking for him. Well, don't want to name your dad, kid. In fact, he's kind of an asshole. What do you mean the one in there ain't my dad? And your real father gave me this the last time he was here. You got any cocoa or maybe a blanket or something? And today's been a little traumatic. I, I thought I met the love of my life, but it turns out she's just like the rest of them. You do recall that they hit us in the face with a bat and tied us up in a barn, right? Chicks, man. Can't live without them. All right, all right, enough of that. Now, how'd you guys get here? Which one was it? The wine jangler? The dome smasher? The hatchet lasso? The hip whipper? None of these. Look, look. Huh. Certainly new. The dumb names. It's like fireworks or some shit. That's how I killed each one of those silver fucking fucks. <laughs> fucking Terminators. So this one's the, uh, shoulder axe, yeah? Every time I manage to kill one of those, they take it out before I can nab it. Closest I've gotten to a working one. Wayne Jangler? How do you jangle? Mitch, what did you mean the last time my father was here? Your father and I came here together, Mick. 1985. It was his birthday, in fact. Came toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of those silver fuckers. That silver fucker! The only one that got away. The one that brought your pops tonight here was this one. You see these numbers around the wheel here? You hit this button. Boom, you're in. You let it go, and you're back to the start. Press it down again, and you're on to the next one. So on and so forth, until you start again. I think it's the original. It certainly works like it. Sorry, so like, time travel? Uh, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Sometimes you be bopping around in the 50s, and other times, it gets weird. But it's always that same night. Well, why are you still here, Mitch? I let go of the thing and your pops didn't. Let him go back, but not me. You said my dad came back. Why didn't you just go with him? Or at least, like, rent a nicer place, dude. <laughs> yeah, watch your mouth! I can't go back. I'm like a character in this shit now. I try to leave this place, and I'm back here the next morning. We thought that too, Mick. He pops in, we pop back together. But nah, I can't leave. I'm stuck in the first visit. Not the second or the third or the tenth or whatever. Tenth? How many times did he come? I don't know. I, I lost track. Your father went round and round on those things, through every single one of them, Mick, trying to save me, risking his life for me. I tried to do my part, staying in my visit, trying to get my hand on another one of those things so we could link up in our TLC. But nah, I can't leave. But hey, can I blame him for staying put after all this shit? I think he found happiness back at home. Mitch, my, my dad disappeared five years after you. It's the last time he was here. That strange man that gave us the device, he, he said he was stuck somewhere or something. He's, he's fucking the whole thing up. No, he's not resonating well or some shit, dude. I don't know. Stuck? Like he's holding it down? How? I, I don't know, Mitch, but we're going to find out. We're going to find him. We're going to bring him back. It's that thing's first visit. We can bring you back with us. Huh. What's this? 
You put that uh, behind. What's it do? That's that's who goes. Well, you don't have to hold it together. Ah, that's fancy. We gotta have that, shall we? Been here for 23 years, same redneck day over and over. Oh, like Groundhog Day. Huh? No, well, like Christmas, I guess, but every day the presents are diarrhea. I don't know. I want to check this one's noggin, too. No, dude, like the movie. Bill Murray. All right, let's do this thing. You, you don't have to do that, Mitch. Right, the air jobbies. Sorry. Old habits. Now we got two. Dude, what's the plan here? I'm I'm getting hungry. Well, you boys gotta go in alone. There's another me in there and that'll cause a scene. Plus, part two of this night's coming up any second. Any moment one of those weird silver fuckers has come crashing through that door to kill us. Dude. Yeah, that's part two. Go in, get your dad, get out of here. Okay, I guess that's that then. Um, I can't go in there like this. Hey. Nice. This will work. How the fuck are you still hungry, dude? Yeah. Hey, my man, you're looking real cool. Groovy. Troy Donahue kind of vibe. Chill. Sure. Thanks, Bob. Come by this week. Now we're cranking out like 100 sheets a day, man. Highest quality grade liquid. One quarter dab. Whoosh! It sounds far out, right, man. Dude, they even got this little, like, pink panther, like, making this face. It's like, oh, it's great, man. Yeah, well, listen, I got a split screen, right? Fuck. You want some? Dude, sell it behind the bar, my man. It's about to be legal. It's just fucking molecules. <laughs> All right, sounds good, buddy. Hey. Hey, Joey. Can you just give me the Joey, come here. Come meet my new friends. Just a minute, Patty. Yeah, dude, we'll do dinner later or something. Can you just give me the time of day? Mickey. Dad? We gotta go. Yeah, yeah, tell me. Um, I just gotta find Rodney. No, right now. No, no, I, we he's, gotta, he's right, right he's, now, he's like, right now. This motherfucker. Oh, fuck yeah, you're so hot. I can't wait to learn about why they call you Patty Cornswalls. What the fuck did you just call me? Cobswallow? Who the fuck calls me that? <laughs> no, no, that's good though. But you said you told me your name was Cornswalls. Patty Cornswallow. Been waiting a long time for this Terminator. He almost got me the first time, too. Thank Dale Jr. for those rednecks. Been growing ready for you. Now it's just me and you, you bastard. Mano y mano. 
Toad up top. Oh, okay. Oh, we're going. So say goodnight to the bad guy. Step scope! You're a boob and you got no class. That's why. How long have we been in this together? Together, Joe. You're so stubborn, Mitch. Changing something because you're bored? When are you gonna get through your goddamn skull? I never told you my last name, you idiot. It's Cook. That's weird. That, that was my mom's last name. What? Yeah, it's like super close. Like really close to my mom's name, but her name's Patricia. Uh, that's my name. My full name's Patricia, dummy. Weird. It's like the same. day when I used to enjoy coming into work, I'd see your face and not want to smack it. But now this, let her get in over your head, over me? Yeah, bring my wife into this, see where that gets you. Oh yeah, big boy, you want to go? I kiss my mom! Fucking ball stools. Oh, did that hurt a widow? You son of a bitch! Aw, oh, fuck! Wait, that... That old guy was definitely real, right? Yeah, I, uh, I fell into the river with... A few of those pink sheets in my pocket. Mick must have found Joe. You found Joe? The... The heir. Joe and Mitch, well... Not you. Hippie Mitch. They're in the back office. Uh, and Almond Bros, Joe? Now that's this timeline's Joe. How could you lose Mick? Mick? Aw, oh, buddy. Come on now. Yeah, I saw Mick. Where, buddy? He went to Shadows. Forget it, dude. This guy's dripping balls. No, no, no. Let me tell you, my friend, let me tell you. Oh, Big Glenn, Shadow's don't. the coolest cat in town. Meow. He lives in a big house. Ah, buddy, no. He travels no, all no. around the world. Isn't that right, Mr. Jeremy? Tell them, friend. Maybe this guy Vic knows where to find Joe. Let's fucking find him. Jeremy, you're so heavy, man. A couple nights after that, we got arrested in New Haven. <laughs> Here. Thanks. Must have been something, meeting all these people. What was Lennon like? He was the truth.
Lay, Lady, Lay. That Dylan tune you always used to sing to mom. Wow. So you've just been sports almanacking your way through rock history here all these years? Yeah, well, you gotta do what you gotta do. I was a stranger in this world, no name, nothing. I even had to hide from the people I knew. Music helped me through that. Have a seat. You know, that's really one of the only things I remember, is you singing to Mom and I. I see you got your own stuff out here, too. Finally. I just wish we knew you were stuck here all this time. I wish we could have helped, Dad. I'm sorry, Mickey. No, it couldn't have been easy for you. It was agony for me at first. Outside the bar, those people, the lives move on, with or without you. Those things, they create some sort of loop in time. I didn't leave the nightclub for years. I didn't know I could. I relived that night over and over. You any idea how sick of my own birthday I am? <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I always knew, I had a feeling. Mom too, she, she'd never admit it, but I could tell, you know? How was your mother? She misses you. But we can change all that. I can take you back. You can go back to normal. Is, is that how you got here? Yeah, look, we can go back together. I've never seen one like this. Hey, honey, you guys are home already? Yeah, we left a little bit early. Hi, I'm Martha. This is, uh, this is Mick. He's, uh, getting into music. Isn't that right? Yeah. Cool. What do you play? Music? Do your girlfriend a favor. It's not all it's cracked up to be. Don't listen to her. Musicians are hot. Martha, come on. Let's go get the bags from the car and let them talk. It was nice to meet you. She'll make the studio. Okay, will Mick join us for lunch? Nah, he's gotta head out after that, so I'll let him out down there. Thanks, son. Ah, oh, dude. I'm so hungry. They shouldn't stay for breakfast. No, Bozo. Something ain't right. What are we gonna do? We're all fucked up. Especially you, dude. Like, look at you. And fucking Mick's asshole dad broke our fucking thing and... Fuck, dude, I'm so hungry, dude. It's Mick's mom. She loves me. You really are a moron, aren't you? You remember this? It's not the only one we have. <sighs> Thank fucking God, dude. I couldn't stay in the 60s, dude. They'd fucking eat me alive, man. I don't think we're in the 60s no more. This thing's walking out. Now, we just gotta find a way to get in, get Mick, get the fuck out. You piece of no good shit. What, dude? Batteries? No, you twat waffle. It'll be the same thing that happened to me. He'll be in visit one. Now, thanks to you, we're in visit two. Fuck, you fucking idiot. There's nothing you can do? No, you've been here the last few hours. It's impossible. We need two of these, remember? And you never know when one of those silver jumpsuit crackheads is popping up. Wait. What if I did know where one would pop up? What? What?
<laughs> Look how fat I was. What's the plan, fatty? Why are we here? Right. You, go boil water, and me, time for un petit de espionage. full sheet. And don't forget, we totally spied the shit out of that mysterious letter from Vic's dad. It's always how you pictured it. Don't forget. Love the greatest Rox. <laughs> He'll know it's for me. Only I call myself that. Okay, Rox. Sounds good. Let's boogie. You got a car? Oh, do I? Let me out down here, huh? Is that the door back there? See you later, Dad. You want to be stuck here forever, Mick? Like Mitch? That's what I thought. When's he coming? I'm not sure. I don't know when, but he'll be here. And listen, man, I have killed enough dudes today. Can you take this guy? Yeah, sure, buddy. No problem. Oh, thanks, man. You know, killing a dude is weird and all. I thought it'd be more like... What the hell, Ron? Uh, Not cool! Uh, help me, you uh, fucker! Uh, uh, you never asked me how I'm here, no device and all. A free man. You never wondered how? What the fuck is that? What don't you understand? This fucker isn't lasting forever. Look at this shit. It's not the only thing that flickers in and out. I need a new battery. You stay on until I figure this out. Then I'll send you back. Are you serious? Why the fuck would I help you? Same reason you came here, Mick. You don't think I saw it all? Apparently you're nothing without your dear old, dear old dad. I was five years old when you left. What the fuck do you know? What do I know? Who the fuck do you think paid for the house, Mick? Your clothes, school supplies? Mr. Peters informs me of the situation very well. Listen, I I'd rather be stuck in that piece of shit dive bar you left me than deal with you. I'm out of here. You know you'll never be able to leave, Mick. This part, it, it, won't, it won't be for long. Uh, th then we'll catch up. We can make some records or something. Then who's gonna take my place? Well, I'm working on getting your mother here. Give you some time to think about it, son. 
Hey, partner. Dude, move! Can you hold it? Uh, not really. Okay, cool. Looking like an old man these days. Old man. Yeah? Some ass chickens could better with age, kid. <laughs> Yes, it is. It's mine, and no one's gonna take it from me! Do something, man! Mick, what are you waiting for? Mick! No cops. Shit. Hey, 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 we're cool, we're cool, we're cool, all right? Unless you got any axes around, huh? I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Relax, relax. Why are you here? I told you I didn't know it was my mom, dude. No, it's not that. Well, what then? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, fuck, Rodney. You don't feed robots. How am I supposed to know that? Oh, God. So you get the Titanic sunk in one TLC, and then oh, suddenly I'm everyone's errand boy. I mean, you even killed me twice. Why do I have to be the one to... Never mind, never mind. I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but we need your help. Why? Joe's back? No, it's not Joe. It's, it's Mick. It's 